Now this time around, if you make this smaller, this time around I want to call this node B and we are ready to render. Select 60 million colors, render animation. And while this is rendering, I'm gonna pause the video. So now that we have our six renders of the second node done, we are simply gonna open the cubic panorama image combiner that comes with the Adventure Maker for free. And we are simply gonna add each of the six faces to this uh, pattern here. So this is front, it's gonna be number zero. This is right, number one, back, number two, and left, number three, top view, number four, and bottom view, number five. So I'm gonna click on process, and I'm gonna select node one, and I'm gonna keep JPEG. I'm gonna select Compression level 5%, click on save. And I'm gonna repeat that with the other node. B0. And V1 for right, V2 for back, V3 for left. Top is number four and bottom is number five. I'm gonna click on process and I'm gonna select node two, JPEG, keep the same compression, click on save. And finally, I'm gonna fire up the Adventure Maker itself. And I'm gonna move the menu so we can all see. It. I'm gonna click on new project. I'm gonna select new project name. I'm gonna call this June 8 Final. Click on OK. And here we can actually select uh, the target platform so we can make games for Windows, and the portable PlayStation, or iPhone. So I'm gonna stick with Windows. Click on OK, continue that, continue that. And before we're gonna create the nodes themselves, set to project properties and make sure that the cubic panorama plugin is enabled. You have to install it first, of course. And then we have some general options here. We can select a different frame size and I'm gonna run this in a window for now. I'm gonna select this and click on OK. So, I'm gonna click on Create New Frames and I'm gonna select, let me see here, our first node. I do not want to resize it, so I'm gonna click No. And when it's imported, I'm gonna right click on it and select Properties. And here I'm heading to the plugins tab. I'm gonna select view as panoramic, as cubic panorama. I'm gonna select 00, 0 as the initial heading. And there are various things you can select here if you want. You can, once a frame is reached in, in your game, you can, I mean, stop all sounds, play a video. You can control seven channels of uh, audio. When that's done, I'm simply gonna right click again and select duplicate. And I'm gonna call the other one node 2. Right click on the second node, head to properties. And I'm gonna click on the image icon here. And I'm gonna import, browse for a new file and select our second node image. And with that, we are almost done. So I'm gonna head over to our first node edit selected frame and in this view I can choose a, the hotspots which will control um, all my movements in the game so this is not the actual panoramic view 
So you can see it's all the individual renders. So up here is the front, then we have the right, up here is the uh, back view and we have the uh, left, top and bottom view here. So since I want I would like to from this node to move to our second node. I, I'm creating a hotspot right here. And I'm simply choosing go to another frame and I'm choosing node 2. Alright, and that's it. So I'm gonna click on OK, close this window, select the second node at the selected frame, and since the other node was going in this direction. I want this one to head the opposite direction. So I'm going to create a hotspot right here. That's going to bring us back to our first original node. And when that's selected, I'm simply selecting go to another frame, node 1, and I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to close this window. And before I test run this project, I'm going to click on property, uh, project properties. And I'm going to select the initial frame, node 1. And then I'm going to test run this project. Click on start. And i just move this window up slightly here. So I can already see and view 360 degrees around. So I'm going to target our first hotspot which is there. I'm going to click and now I'm transferred to that node. Now I can head back to the first one by clicking here. Yeah, we have some initial rotation issues. I'm going to exit that. And so back here I'm going to click on edit select the frame and I'm going to locate my hotspot. I'm going to right click on it, select properties and here I'm, I want to select this display full screen transition and by default that's going to be an alpha blending duration one second and to preserve the rotation as we change the nodes there is a setting here if go into another frame choose destination view angle tick that and then it says here if you want to preserve the current angle you need to enter the value 999 so I'm going to do that Click on OK, close this window, go to the second node, edit, locate the hotspot, right click, select properties, display the same transition, and here make sure the angle is preserved, and click on OK. Now I'm going to test run the project again, start, and I'm going to move the window up. So I can view around, I can go to my first, the second node, it fades nicely. And I can go back to my initial node here. It's right there. Perfect. So there are ways of changing the icons as well. So you can, if, if you are pointing at, an, at a hotspot, you can actually change the mouse pointer to a, a hand, pointing hand or a magnifying glass or anything. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.